guys welcome back to my channel it's me Jasmine thank you guys for joining me today in this video I'm going to show you guys how I construct this unit here this is a frontal wig that I made using the hair from Miss Lula it is Brazilian virgin it is it is a virgin Lula, it is their Brazil Brazilian 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 <laughs> This here is from Ms. Lula. It is their Brazilian Virgin Straights. I have three bundles, uh, 22 being the longest bundle, you guys. I'm five foot six, so you see where this is falling on me. I do have a frontal in the same texture as well. I'm gonna show you guys pretty much how I construct this unit. Um, and also in the video, I'm gonna be talking about the got to be glued as, you know, holding down your front on the front a lot of people are raving about this stuff so if you guys are interested in seeing that go ahead and stay tuned the hair that I will be using for this wig is from Miss Lula an Aliexpress vendor very affordable by the way now I did mention that my longest bundle was 22 I lied I'm sorry I'm using three full bundles of 18 inches so 18 inches nothing longer nothing shorter now for the wig I use my canvas I got this canvas from Aliexpress using a mesh um, cap and my frontal, I did already customize that. So if you guys have any questions about how I do that, I will leave a card above so that you guys can click on that video. I like to take a couple of these pins to secure my frontal down before I begin to sew it. Now once I sew it, I like to go underneath, then through the frontal. And I basically start right in the center and then I work my way down on both sides. Here's a quick tip for you guys. When you're sewing down your frontals, make sure that your stitches are very close together. This is going to help with any lifting. You don't want any spaces or gaps in between. So sew very closely together. Now it's time to sew on the bundles. In the back of the wig, I'm going to start with double wefting. And as I make my way towards the top, I'm going to single weft. Now I've learned a new trick just from making these wigs over and over again. Instead of starting right at the nape, which I always do, I'm going to be doing a little bit different this time. Right where that frontal stops, right by the ear area, I'm going to take that first weft that's doubled and I'm going to sew that all the way around to the other side. And I'm going to continue to do that and I'm going to go back and forth flipping and also cutting my tracks so that my wig will lie really flat. Lie. La lie. Lila. Yeah. Right in here I'm going to go all the way towards the other end of the frontal and I'm going to cut here. So I am cutting my wefts um, and once I do that I'm going to go back on the other side and just connect. Connect right there, sew that down really flat and I've learned this technique just because I feel like when I sew any other way you can see like that line where that weft starts and that is just not good. So that way when I'm parting my hair throughout my frontal it looks as though you know, I can part it all the way back without you seeing that that track, that line of demarcation where my track starts or where the extension starts, if that makes any sense. So when I part my hair, you don't see anything besides that part, but just hair and not a weft. Now I like to go through the frontal and then through the weft when I'm connecting that first stitch, mainly because it's gonna help it stay and it won't lift. So I'm gonna do that and then tie another knot so that it lay really flat. Doing it this way, it makes my wigs lie super flat. And right now you guys, I'm single wefting. I'm halfway, I say midway up towards the cap and I'm single wefting just so that the wig will lay flat. And I'm cutting my wefts at each 
side only because I wanted to lay flat. If I was to fold this over, it would not lay flat. It would be bulky. And then you will see that once you part the hair throughout the frontal. Basically, I am creating that no part look when it comes to making your wigs. Like the, the flip over Ivy method almost. So I'm going to just continue this shape until I get all the way to the front. This was very time consuming. I think this was, this this took me forever, like all night. I was up all night doing this because I had to cut the webs. Cutting the webs do take a lot longer doing it. And the results for me are a lot better. So continuing sewing that really flat. This way for me works a whole lot better than what I've done previously. I want to show you guys if you were to do it the other way where that track lays flat right there, if you was to part your hair back, you will see that. I have wigs that I see that. So doing it this way, you won't have an issue, I promise. Now I went ahead and added my elastic band and just try the wig on and it fits pretty good. But you can add combs and do whatever you need to do to make sure your wig fits. This is pretty much what it looks like just putting the wig on you guys. I'm thinking that I want to go ahead and give this got to be glue thing a try. I actually use the yellow tube all the time for my edges and it really works until I noticed one day when I actually tried to slick down the baby hairs on one of my lace frontals. I didn't use it to slick down my lace my lace frontal. I just used it to slick down the baby hairs. And when I slid down the baby hairs, they, they didn't move all day. Like all day. So I can definitely see why everybody's going crazy about this. I did go ahead and pick this one up, which is so funny because I picked this up a long time ago at Alta. This was on sale for $3, y'all. And that's the only reason why I picked it up. Not, not knowing that a lot of people were using this one to slick down their frontals. Don't think that this is glue, you guys, because it's not. It's just a very strong, very, very, very strong holding gel. It's not glue, but basically, people are using this as the same purpose as a glue for the frontal. So, my wig is pretty much snug, except for I have some lift right in the front here. I'm gonna use the black, got to be glued. This is what it looks like. Now, I combed all my hair back and took some clips just to Get the hair out the way. I'm taking the end tail of my comb to apply it because this stuff can get really messy and just blend it into my skin. Um, I should have let it get a little tackier first before I laid it down, but just taking a blow dryer with the end of that comb and just pressing down so that it stays securely. Um, two things I want to say really quick before I move on. I noticed with um the black container I've got to be glued that is it's clear so that's a plus and it goes on a little less messier than this yellow one the hold for both is basically the same so I don't really know if one is higher than the other honestly um, this one however the yellow one is water resistant so this one may even work better because if you're going to sweat, if you're going to get your hair a little wet any of those things especially being summertime this one may even be better you guys want me to do like versus you know Battle of the two, let me know. So this is pretty much it for the quick style I did on here, you guys. I just took some of my um, Eco Styler Gel for the edges right here in the front to slip those down. I did two little braids in the front just to jazz up this hair. Be sure to check out the description box below. You guys are going to leave information about this hair. Thank you guys for joining me, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.